tomorrow night, CBS and the other major networks are joining forces once again to bring you Stand Up to Cancer, a program designed to raise awareness of the disease and raise money to fight it. Some of that money is funding research against one of the deadliest forms of cancer, pancreatic. This year, more than 43,000 Americans will be diagnosed with it, and nearly 37,000 will die of it. It's already claimed the lives of people like Michael Landon, Patrick Swayze, and my sister Emily. But now, thanks to cutting-edge research, more and more patients have reason to hope. Howard Young was living the dream. How are we doing? The Atlanta beer distributor had a business he loved and a family he cherished. 42 years old, I thought I was bulletproof. Just felt like everything was going along great. Then came a devastating diagnosis, pancreatic cancer, a disease with the lowest survival rate of all cancers. You read the statistics, Howard, when you went online after mm -hmm. your diagnosis, and you know that, what, 75% of pancreatic cancer patients die within a year? That's true. I think the first website I looked at said it's a virtual death sentence. Young had surgery, followed by chemotherapy and radiation. Doctors told him even if everything went well, he'd have a 20% chance of living six months. Come on in, Steve, have a seat. That was eight years ago, and he's still okay. going strong. And the good news is, is there are many more Howards, and there are going to be a lot more of them. Magnetic resonant. Dr. Daniel Von Hoff of the TGen Research Institute in Phoenix had already developed one of the few effective treatments for pancreatic cancer, gemcitabine. And it improved survival from 2% to 18%. But he says stubborn pancreatic tumors still manage to protect themselves against the drug because they're surrounded by a tough, fibrous cocoon. The idea is we have to either prevent this cocoon from forming or we have to get rid of it after it's formed and we have a much better chance of getting drug in. So at the request of Stand Up to Cancer, Dr. Von Hoff joined forces with another leading cancer expert 2,000 miles away. And they had the clinical expertise, we had the scientific expertise and together we could really make a dream team. The glutamine comes into the cell as a major fuel source. Dr. Craig Thompson of the University of Pennsylvania thinks starving pancreatic tumors of the food they use for fuel, an amino acid called glutamine, might just crack that cancer cocoon. We want to shut off the fuel that we think is driving the production of both the cocoon and fueling the division of the cancer cells. With an $18 million grant from Stand Up to Cancer, a clinical trial begins this month combining three drugs, one that targets the cocoon, another that targets the tumor, and a third intended to cut off the cancer's fuel supply. So I hope by cutting off the fuel, by creating damage with the gemcitabine, and by eliminating the cocoon, we're going to strip off all the defenses of the pancreatic cancer cell and therefore kill it. Two-thirds of this chemo combo has already worked wonders for Howard Young, who's had no signs of cancer since 2009. He's resumed an active, busy life of work, golf, and most of all, family. I'm sure there are a lot of things you want to be around for. When you think of those things, what are they? Oh, graduations, weddings. I've got three daughters, and besides trying to find a way to pay for the weddings, I want to, I like to attend them, too. You'd like to walk them down that the aisle. Absolutely right. And until there's a cure, this team of doctors is out to prove that remission is not mission impossible. There's an awful lot of people out there depending on us. And, uh, we hope not to disappoint.